So once everything's posted to Sage, we need to clean up the ledgers. Now, what I mean by cleaning up the ledgers <clears throat> is ensuring on the customer and supplier ledgers that there are no, <clears throat> excuse me, no funny balances outstanding. Um, for example, on the supplier ledger, I have two balances here: a minus twelve fifty and a minus four hundred and fifty. Obviously, there has been some payments posted these to these accounts or credit notes and no invoices have been posted to match these. Now you may have lots of these funny balances appear at the end of a VAT quarter. Now it's so important that everything is accurate and you don't have any odd balances showing. The reason for this, there's two reasons really. The first is more minor but it's good to periodically have a clean up of SAGE. Um, so at the end of every VAT quarter, every three months, you can have a clean up. It makes your end a lot easier and makes things a lot easier for your accountant too. And hopefully his bill should be a bit less if he doesn't have to clear up ledgers as much. And then the second reason, perhaps the more important reason, is for a lot of you, your VAT will be deducted or added on suppliers or customers once the invoice has been posted so on this supply ledger we've made two payments here or put credit notes on that will VAT charge us but no invoices have been put on to match these payments so the VAT would not be deducted from those payments so you're missing out on the VAT value of these two here. Now let me explain that again, maybe I didn't explain it very clearly. On a lot of your accounts, depending on what VAT scheme you're in, but the majority of you, your VAT will be deducted or added when invoices are posted. So if payments are put onto Sage and invoices are not, then your VAT is not going to be accurate. And on your supply ledger, if you've got payments that don't have invoices to match, then you'll be paying more VAT, or you could be paying more VAT than you actually need to, because that VAT deduction is not coming off from the invoice. So the way we clear these up, um, we can do this a couple of ways, or view the data a couple of ways. We can go on the activity, see what's outstanding. So we have a payment on account here. If you look in details, payment on account of 1250 we could also just go to bank and bring up their account which was new Newton Builders and once again it shows us the activity or the outstanding activity on their account and if we have a look at this other one it's the 450 studio designs click outstanding just shows us what war is outstanding. We have a pay payment on account of 450. So two payments on accounts with no invoices to match. So the VAT of those two will not currently show on our VAT return and we'll be paying 1700 pounds worth of tax or VAT deductible on our VAT return. So it requires a bit of investigation um, and you just need to find the invoices to match these amounts. Um, so say, you know, to cut a long story short, say we've gone, found the invoices, perhaps the suppliers never sent us the invoices or they've got lost somewhere. We can then put the invoices on. Make sure the date and reference and all the information on the invoices is correct. You'd fill in the details, so twelve fifty, calculate net, click save. You'll see this is a zero balance now on Newton Builders Limited. And let's look at studio designs. So say we found their invoice. You'd put all the details in. save and there we go their balance is zero now to allocate 
those payments to the invoices. Let's go to supplier, bring up Newton. There's two allocations here also. That, or I create an invoice here that haven't been allocated. So let's allocate all these by clicking pay in full. Now if we bring up their account, nothing is showing. And let's do the other studio designs. Allocate the payment to the invoice. Pay in four, pay in four, we should have a zero appear. Let's click save. And there we go. So that ledger is now clean. You may have more to do than just those two. You may have a number of customers to do also. If you have a list of s suppliers and customers, the easiest way is just to put it in reverse balance order, then all the the minuses will show at the top or the bottom. So that's reverse balance order, they'll be down the bottom here. Or if you put them in balance order, they'll be at the top.